a lot of people think light is just here to help us see. Sure. But there's actually a lot more to light. So, for example, when I shine this light on my arm here, it's not just delivering light, it's delivering energy. And what this is doing, the light is actually traveling through my skin, um, going into the cells. Interesting. And red, near infrared are the two wavelengths that can travel through skin into the tissues. And at that level, what it's doing is it's activating the powerhouses inside of our cells, the batteries. So now when our, the batteries inside the cell have more energy, the cell can function better. Interesting. Um, and there are actually lots and lots of studies and very well done, high quality studies, systematic reviews that have looked at the effects of red light therapy in painful conditions like arthritis, tendonitis, lower back pain that have shown a benefit of red light therapy in these conditions. And the main reason is that at that cellular level, it's helping to reduce inflammation. Mm. So it's blocking the inflammatory pathway. Um, a lot of people know that turmeric is anti-inflammatory. Sure. Um, and it does that by blocking the inflammatory pathway. So it's stopping messengers, chemical messengers that are activating these pain fibers. Wow. Um, and a red light therapy does the same thing. And why red light? Why not blue light? Why not green light? What is it about red light that makes it work so well? It's because on the mitochondria, the powerhouses, the batteries inside the cells, th we have receptors. So there are these antennas that pick up the wow. frequency of red and neon red. And also, um, those are the two frequencies of light that travel through skin the best. So blue, green, they kind of get deflected or they're absorbed by the cells. So it doesn't really get penetrate through uh, the skin and get into the cell. And what are some of the conditions that red light therapy really works well with? It's going to sound like snake oil, and that's why I was skeptical at first. But because if you think about the, how it works, it's tackling that root cause of many conditions, which is lack of energy in the cell. Mm. It, it actually has been, sh there's a lot of evidence that it can help a wide range of conditions from rejuvenation, so anti-aging for skin, anti, uh, sorry, um, helping reduce wrinkles, pre prevent wrinkles, to wound healing, so oh, wow. it can help wounds heal, pain, inflammation, um, sleep, mood support, and even brain function. So studies are now looking at how it can help um, with dementia, Alzheimer's. Um, so yeah, it has a, a wide range of function.